Hey guys, we are currently working on the Everlasting Printable Mini Album templates and in the last video we got the covers and the spine finished and the closure. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you two different ways to use the binding that um, is provided in the printable templates and then we're going to attach the pages. So we're going to we're going to do the binding part and attach the pages in this video. So I've got all my I've got my um, covers here and I got my pages just sitting in there right now. <laughs> but I will link look they're all falling out everywhere. <laughs> I will link all the previous videos in the description box below. It'll be a playlist um, on my YouTube channel. And then I will also link the templates to the printable template, the templates. <laughs> I will also link the uh, printable templates in the description box below as well. Now remember, they are available in the Everlasting, and then they're available um, in the Mini Everlasting, which I haven't started uh, showing you how to use yet. And then of course, they are also available as the bundle. So just keep that in mind when you're looking um, at my Etsy shop, but they are all listed um, in the description box below. Or actually, they're not all listed. There is a section in my Etsy shop. I can't talk this morning. It's really early and I haven't really spoken yet until now. Um, there is a section in my Etsy shop for the Everlasting uh, printables, just like there is for the Keepsakes and the the Ultimate and the Paper Dream, all of that. They all have their own sections in my Etsy shop and they're on the left hand side in case you're curious. So um, in this video we are going to be doing two, the, the uh, bindings two different ways and we're going to be attaching the pages. So let me scoot the album out of the way. Okay so the binding for the Everlasting is on page 24. And I've already printed it out twice, and I've printed the script on it, um, and cut it out all the way around. So, just to kind of save time. Okay, so what we're going to need is a scoreboard. And this is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. It is the trimming score. Um, I will also link anything and everything I use in the description box below as best I can. So if you're interested in anything that I use, just check that out and it should be down there. Um, and what we want to do is I'm just going to go, I'm going to do this for both pieces. I'm just going to go and I'm going to score all of these lines. This is a, um, a stylist, a Martha Stewart stylist. And if you want to, you do not have to use the provided um, binding strips. I'm sorry, not strips, but you do not have to use the provided binding page if you don't want to. Um, it's totally up to you. They're just the right height for the album. So if you, you could, you know, go ahead and just cut it out, print it out, cut it out, and then make your own marks. You don't have to follow mine exactly because um, it looks like I may have trimmed my paper out crooked, but that's okay. So it's basically just a half an inch all the way down. So I'm getting off a little bit, but that that is totally fine. It's not going to hurt anything at all. Um, so I'm going to do that to both. Um, both of these. I'm going to do the exact same thing where I'm going to... Um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm going to score a half an inch all the way across. Okay? So I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that before I put it up. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've got both of the pieces scored all the way across. So we're just going to work with one right now. And I'm going to show you um, how to do the hidden hinge, which everybody knows how to do the hidden hinge binding. But I'm going to show you anyway. So if you did six pages, you want to use this whole thing, okay? So I did four pages. So in the guide, I tell you, I kind of mark where you need to cut if um, if you did that many pages. So you could do two pages, you could do four pages. Now I did want to point out that you can do as many pages as you want. If you make your own um, binding, you can do as many as you would like. So like for example, if you made eight pages, you could do quarter of an inch um, sections versus you know half an inch all the way across. You could do half an inch, quarter of an inch, you know, half an inch, half an inch, quarter of an inch, if that makes sense. Maybe one of my videos in the future I'll, I'll modify 
the binding um, for a different amount of pages. So, but anyway, so I wanted to show you that in your guide, it tells you um, where to cut if you did so many pages. So I went ahead and put that on my workbook page so that I wouldn't forget. So I'm just gonna lay this on here like this. And since I did four pages, I'm just gonna mark that one so that I know that's where I need to cut. Let me mark it better. <laughs> that's where I need to cut it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna use my scissors because it really isn't crucial. This will be inside of one of the pages anyway, that, that tab. So I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna stick it here in my pocket for, for my workbook so that I don't lose that piece. And so the best way that I have found to do this to make it an even smooth, um, like accordion type fold, you know, sometimes it gets really sloppy and it's uneven, but the best way I've found to do it is to go through and prep each one of those score marks in the same direction all the way across the page like this right so they're all going i've already prepped them it's like a circle now i got a tube <laughs> so now i'm going to flip it over the other way and do the same thing going the other direction and this makes it a little bit more flexible and it makes it easier to handle. So what you're gonna do now is this first piece right here, this one is gonna be one of the fins the page is gonna go on. So then you wanna go, skip a half an inch and then you wanna take the next two after that and join them together. So there's the second fin, right? So there's two pages. Then you wanna skip a half an inch and then you wanna join the next two together. So it looks like this. So now you have three pages. Then you skip the half an inch and there's your fourth page. So this is kind of what it looks like from that angle. So then you wanna put tape here and here because you wanna close it up. So I'm gonna use the Suquain score tape and you just need to run a strip. One strip will do for each one to close that part up. But before I close it up, I am also, so it's gonna close up like this, right? So this part, these three, one inch, or one inch, don't not include that one, not include that one. Those three are gonna be against the spine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my tape to those three pieces. It's just easier to do it when it's flat you know, before you have it bumpy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my score tape. This is 3 eighths of an inch. Did I already say that? I'm not sure if I said that or not. So it's gonna look like that, right? So now, I mean, it's almost, I mean, it looks like we should just be putting tape all over the place, but we didn't. So this is, this, these are Tim Holtz tonic scissors, by the way. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna join these two, these two half inch pieces right here. I'm literally just gonna take the backing off and push down. So there's one joined together. And I'm gonna do the same to this. So I'm just gonna flip it, push it down. I am gonna burnish this really quick just so I'm certain that everything is tight and stuck and I'm gonna flip it this way and then I'm gonna flip it that way you just really want them to have movement easily okay so now you can see all of our pages all of our fins for our pages all the tabs that the pages are gonna slide down onto and look at how flat and even that is I mean this is the best way I found to make it flat and even. Okay, so this part is gonna be stuck down to the spine, but what I wanna do first is I'm going to go through and notch or tab or take the corner off of each one of these edges because um, it makes it easier for the page to slide down onto it. All right, so I'm gonna do that. 
And it's easier to do this once you've got these parts together. Right? So now we got something that looks like this, which is pretty easy. So another thing I want to point out before I go any further is this is the ink that I've been using through the whole book. This is Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Ground Espresso. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and add color to the places that are gonna be seen. Um, on the edges there is a good a place. And then I'm gonna do this edge here because I'm gonna try not to slide my pages down too far onto that because um, you'll have, again, have less movement if you, if you slide them all the way down. So then I'm gonna go through, I think, and just, since I used a slightly different color ink um, than what I printed it off as, I'm gonna just go through and just hit all of these score marks. So maybe I'll just give it a hint of color. See, like that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go through and then I'll be right back. Okay, so did that, um, and you can kind of see the difference, you know, when you lay it up there and when you slide the page on, you'll be able to see a little bit of that, so it kind of helps just to kind of make everything cohesive. So now you have a couple choices. If you want to use score tape or double-sided um, tape on your fins, then you need it be, it's easier to do it now if you want to use wet glue to attach your pages on your fins then you can do it as you go do you see what i'm saying obviously <laughs> so you don't have to uh, do that now so what i'm going to do is i am going to use score tape because i do find that it's strong um, especially since i've done some kind of you know i've done some kind of i've done thicker type pages heavier pages so so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add score tape onto each and every one of these little fins. I'm going to go ahead, since I, that one was square, I like it to be to the edge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the score tape on this side since I've got it upside down. Whoa, press it down first, Jen. There we go. And another good rule of thumb is not to go too close to that score mark. So you may want to go closer to the edge of the fin. That way you doesn't, it doesn't show if you, doesn't, if you don't push the page all the way down, which you shouldn't. I don't think you should anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add score tape to both sides of each fin. And if you... <clears throat> And if you wanted to, you could have done this before you put the whole thing together. Um, that's totally fine too. Sometimes I find that if I have too much tape on something um, that I need to like assemble together like this, <laughs> I get a little confused. So, um, so this is the way I like to do it. Dug in there a little bit. All right. So now it is completely ready to go. Let me get my let me get my album without the pages. <laughs> okay. So now it'll completely it'll completely it's completely ready to go where it will fit right here, just like that. So you what you would do is you would take these three strips of score tape off. And then you would stick this right down in the center. You want to center it top to bottom, left to right. So if you push those fins down like that, you get a good idea of exactly where it's supposed to be. Because um, there should be a half an inch on each side of this binding strip. So that's one way. I'm not going to attach this down yet. I'm going to show you the other way. And then we'll pick which one we use. 
also this other one. Um, this was something I just kind of discovered when I was doing my mock-ups that I can use this exact same sheet with a different method. Um, and I know you guys are familiar with it. It's the Stack the Deck Binding, and that's by Laura Dennison. And I will link her video below. Um, it's a really old video, but it's just one of the most brilliant binding methods I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's so easy. So I wanted to show you guys how you can use this for the Stack the Deck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, just like I was making two pages, like that, right? So this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and prep it. There's one of the stack the deck pieces, and then that's two pages, right? So then, let me prep it the other way. So then, if you, if you look at the strip, here's your fin for your page, here's your spacing, so then this piece right here, the third, is where your top piece is gonna sit, right? So it looks like this. So then there's your spacing, right? And then there is your last fin. So then you would then want to cut it, so I'm just gonna leave that on there. You would wanna cut it right here. Okay, now let me get my, before I cut all the way through, let me see if it's the same. Probably should check that first. I don't think it is, but it could be. No. So, if you want to use your guide, if you want to do this method, um, the four pages is marked right here for the hidden hinge binding. But if you want to do the stack the deck binding, then you need to cut a half an inch before that mark okay so let me cut that really quick because I want to show you something cool okay so then there's your second piece so they layer onto onto each other like that so then if you if you want to do six pages again you use the whole thing so there's your fin, there's your fin, and there's your fin. So just worked out to be perfect. So you can do six pages with the whole strip using the hidden hinge, or you can do six pages with the um, stack the deck method. So I just wanted to point that out. So there would be your three pieces. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and um, show you, prep it for you so that you can see what I'm talking about. So if you did six pages, this would be your bottom piece. And then this would be your next one. So this one would be attached down right here. And so there's a fin, there's your spacing, and there's a fin. And then here's your top piece, and that gets attached down right there. So that's the uh, stack the deck binding. So you can use the exact same set on this page, which is page 24, to do um, the stack the deck as well. Okay, so let's finish up. Let's go ahead and put this together. I'm going to stick this in here for future use. And so how I do the stack the um, deck binding is before I even put it together, um, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to ink the edges that are going to be seen. Oh, let me show you. Let me do the tape first. So, <clears throat> this one, it gets put on top like this, right? And then this is the part that gets attached down. So, we're going to go ahead and add the tape to those spots. Let me straighten this up. I mean, either one of these methods are easy. You just have to decide um, which one you like the best. That's, that's just all there is to it. Right, and so then you just, I'm gonna just put three pieces, just like on the other one. And then I'm gonna run a piece along the back side of here, like that. Okay, so, and if you didn't want to, um, I'm, I guess I could show you an easier way, a time saver, really. You know, like I said, with this one, 
you know, if you put tape on everything and then put it together, sometimes it's confusing. So this one is a little bit more straightforward. So we know that this, you know, is, these are going to be attached down like this, right? So the, the, these two fins and these two fins need tape on them. So before I cut the corners off, I'm just going to go ahead and add the tape to these pieces and then cut the corners off last because that way I don't have to cut it in an angle and um, it just saves a little bit of time. So there's the bottom piece of the stack the deck and I'm going to do the same thing to the top piece. like that and then I'm going to get my little garbage bucket here and then I'm going to notch the corners off see so it just you know that way you just it saves you just a little bit of time it's not very wasteful I mean you're just cutting off just a corner of that tape so um, I don't think it's very wasteful I, just, I think it's a time saver so I'm going to go ahead and do that to this piece so see this one you didn't technically have to score all the way but I did so all right so then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna ink the edges that are gonna be seen before I put it together it's just a detail that most people won't notice but it's something that I notice when I'm flipping through so we're going to do this like that and I'm also once I get it put together I should probably wait to do this but I'm going to do like the ends here just like that all right so I'm going to do this piece the same way and then I'll be back okay so I've got both pieces inked and ready so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the backing off of this smaller piece that goes on top and I'm just going to literally lay it on here I'm trying not to get my head in the way right I'm matching it up because since that you know this still has the score marks from the whole thing or the ink marks I don't know how, the lines <laughs> how to tell you to do that but I'm just going to match it up at the top there and then I'm going to follow it down match it up at the bottom now it looks like I got off just a hair no not really it's not too bad not too bad at all okay let me check side to side looks good so then I'm going to burnish this down I'm going to flip everything this way flip everything this way this is a Teflon bone folder it's really cool Right, so now we've got the same exact thing. Okay, so let's see. Um, I wonder which one, if one's more tape intensive. So let's see. The fins are all the same, so that's that doesn't matter. The um, back that's going to stick down is the same. So there's three there, and then there's one here. So really, if you do this method, you're only saving one strip of tape rather than doing this method. So I think it's just really going to be personal preference when it comes right down to it. So, but I wanted to show you two different ways to use the exact same page, the exact same binding strip. Um, I like the stacked deck one. You know, I think it's easy. Um, this one takes, I think, a little bit more time, a little bit more patience, but they're both, they're both good. I mean, they really are. They're both good. So... I'm not sure which one I want to put in the book, actually. I'm just going to just 
keep working this until it's um, flexible for me, flexible enough for me. All right. I think I'm going to use the stack the deck binding in the book. Um, there is one difference, of course, in the two, is that these fins are thicker than these two fins. So, um, but that's not why I picked it. I just want, um, I just want to use this one. So I'm actually going to put this one back in the page in the sleeve so that I can use it for another project. But anyway, I just want to show you guys. So easy. All right, so now let's get this put into the album here. All right, um, it doesn't really matter which way it goes, uh, but since it has the script on there, I may end up covering these strips, these half inch strips with paper. Um, we'll see, we'll see how, how it uh, all turns out. But I'm just gonna flip this over and I am just gonna take the backing off of those three middle strips there. And like I said, I'm going to just line it up the edge there. Like that, I think I got it pretty good. I can't get my head over it. Maybe I'll line it up down here instead. Mm. Ah! If I could get my head over it, this would be way easier. There we go. Pretty good. Not too shabby. All right. So then I'm just going to go through and burnish them down again. I really want to make sure there's good contact there. You don't want your pages falling out. So now we have our binding in there. Looks so good. Even though it's just binding strips, it looks so good. All right, okay, so now we can add our pages. All right, I'm going to bring my pages over. I've got them in the order that I think I want to do them in. Um, now, this part is could be scary for some people, especially using the double-sided tape. And I think I'm going to start with the back page. So this is the back page. This is what I'm going to use as the back page. I don't have my side inserts in here yet. Um, I do have them ready, and I'll show them after I get uh, the pages on. So what you want to do is, since I'm using the double-sided score tape, I'm just going to take off one side. Now, if you're using like a liquid glue, like a, um, a Scotch Quick Dry or a Ranger Matte Medium or something like that, then you want to go ahead and put glue on both sides. But since I'm using the score tape, I'm just going to take one side of the paper backing off, I'm going to turn my page a little bit, or my, my album covers a little bit, and then I'm going to open up that slot. Of course, this is the spine side and this is the um, insert side, so I'm just going to literally slide this on here without putting any pressure on anything. Whoops. Sometimes you have to wiggle it down, just be patient. You don't want to go all the way down, remember. I'm going to stay about an eighth of an inch away. And then you just want to lay your page down and make sure that it's straight before you press down. So I don't know if you can see how far away I stayed from the edge there. It's about an eighth of an inch-ish. Maybe shy, a little shy. Right? So you've got the one side stuck down. Then you want to flip it to the back side. And you want to get something that's kind of pointy. So this is... Um, this was a stylus set, so this was on the other end of it. I think I have three, but I don't know what I did with the third one. Oh, here it is. Oh, this one's got like really tiny. That's a really tiny. Um, I wonder what you would use that really super teeny tiny. Anyway, so it's a set of three. So, um, all right, so you just want to take something pointy and get up under that piece of tape backing there and just pull it out and then you can smooth it down. So there, there's one page added. So that's simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and burnish just a little 
So I really want it to, and it's kind of hard to do this because it's kind of thick. So but I really want it to be good and stuck. So there, yeah. So there. I don't know why I say, so there. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, and so then here is a the short page. I did, I was playing. I started embellishing. This is an insert um, for this pocket. And I was just playing with it. And I made this cute little bow thingy right here. I just thought it was cute. This is the paper I was using. Um, so I was trying to figure out how I wanted to mat because this is such thin cardstock. So I stopped myself because I was like, oops, I need to record that. So anyway, so same thing. Here's the short page. I'm going to take it off of one side. And then I'm going to turn it so I can see. I'm going to open it up like that and slide it onto that hinge that whatever you want to call that the binding piece the flap the and again I'm going to try to do about an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to try to line it up yep it's all even I'm going to push down I may have pulled that out just a little bit um, hopefully it's not too bad all right flip it over and then I'm going to add, take off the backing on that side Right, so now we have two pages added. Isn't that cute? It's a little short page. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and put my insert for that part back in. Like that. Isn't that cute? I love the bows. I'm telling you, that is like one of the most adorable things I've, I've <laughs> come across or made in my printables. I know it's silly, but yeah, anyway. Moving on. This isn't glued down to that. It's just kind of flea, flea floating. <laughs> Free floating. <laughs> we'll get to that in the embellishment video. Okay, so next page is this one. Now, I'm going to flip it. No, I'm just going to keep going this way. All right, so I'm going to take the backing off of one side. Sometimes I'll flip and start on the other side just because it's flat. But, all right, I'm going to do the same thing. Whoa, this one's thick. And I'm just going to slide it down over top of there. You could put a little glue stick in there if you want to. Um, I have done that before. But I just know that if you go slow and you don't put any pressure on anything, since this one is so thick, I'm having a hard time seeing here. Try starting on this side, working my way up. Well, and since I can't get my head in the camera view, I block everything. I can't see as well. Okay, got it on there, and I'm gonna press. Yes. Then we're gonna flip it around and take the backing off of there, just like that. Press it down. Wow, this page is thick. Thick, 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 thick. Oops. Got to be careful. So, so that looks good. I, I, again, I was making um, some embellished pages, so I did that one, and that's kind of it's added some thickness there, so that's okay. But the magnets still work. Look at there, right? All right, and the very last page, I think I will go this way, just because. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the backing off of one side. And so this, I'll make sure I got it right, right? So same thing, this one's thick too. I am going to slide this on here. Be careful not to go too far. Make sure it's straight and press. This one is thick too. But that's why I like the half an inch um, in between, this half an inch space in between. Come on, tape. Whoops, I tore that one. Try not to tear it. And so you can build your pages up like that and then still have embellishments. So I'm going to flip it 
this way and give it a burnish. And hopefully the pressure will go all the way through. <laughs> so now all of our pages are added. Check it out. Yay. See how sturdy that is? They are going nowhere. Okay. I'll quit abusing my book here. So cute. All right. So did, like I said, I did do the inserts. So let me show you what page they're on. I chose to do whoops, the, ma or the uh, main base insert option B, which is on page seven. That's the insert I chose to put on all four pages. And so I did mat them. So I printed the script on one side and then I matted the other. So, and I didn't even do a very, you know, I say this every time. I'm not a very good fussy cutter. I didn't very do a very good job of fussy cutting them out, but um, that's okay. So then these slide in here and they will hit a stop. Oops. Let me scoot that over. They'll hit the bottom where you've attached the page to the spine. So they'll automatically stick out a certain distance. Okay. So, but it's, it's designed to where it fits inside the covers. Okay, so there's one. Doesn't that look cool? See, that's the main base option B page. Uh, so it's got the same design on the edge. So it looks really neat. And then here's the next one. And this is the main base option A, which is the straight. But it, um, it still looks good with this option B insert in it, I think. So there's that one. And then here's the short page. So this was the pocket page that I converted into a short page. Same thing, it will go in to this. So here's the insert for the little pocket, but here's where the page stops and the insert goes in and it sticks out the exact same distance as all the other ones will. And then here's the last one. Oh, I didn't tell you what, um, what paper I'm using. Um, let me do that. <laughs> This is the 49 and Market. I know if you've already watched all the other videos in this series, you know this already. 49 and Market Sand and Sea Paper Line. Um, you won't see any of the beachy or ocean images, so just beware. And so then look. So they're all perfectly aligned. You, you can't even see them um, until you turn it to the side. So even the short page insert looks really good, doesn't it? So I think just in the next video, we'll do some embellishing. Uh, maybe we'll add some pockets to the covers. Um, we'll definitely have to do some embellishing. That is for sure. And then obviously we need to do the cover. So I don't know if it'll be all in one video or if it'll be broke up Two other videos. Be sure to check the links down below if you want, if you're interested in the templates, um, if you're interested in the other videos up to this point. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that I use, there should be links to everything in the description box below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I don't know, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I can't really do it this way. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit this little button right here. And uh, once you subscribe, go ahead and hit the little bell too, because that'll notify you when I upload a new video. And then, if, let's see. Oh, and then be sure to check out the videos that are on your screen. You may be interested in some of those. And I will see you next time. Bye.